And you know why? One of the main reasons why I limit what God can do through me is because of me. Me. And I think all of us struggle with that, getting ourselves in the way. And, and, and the fact is that when we rely on ourselves instead of Him, we limit what's going to be worked out, what's going to come out, what we can do. How many times has our own pride, our own selfishness, our own fears gotten in the way of what a supernatural God can do in us? How many times have I heard people in the past say, I can't teach. I can't preach. I can't share the gospel. I can't give. I can't forgive. I don't have any time. I don't have any abilities. I can't. I can't help this person. I can't do this. I can't do that. I remember when I was in Arkansas, this very wise lady named Grandma Bill. She was a sweet gal. She come to chew, chewing tobacco. That was neat. Grandma Bill. She is 86 years old. She said to me, Tom, you think I should give up chewing tobacco? And I said, what for? You know, that'd it, be fine. I, Lord doesn't have anything wrong with chewing tobacco. I'm not endorsing it, kids. All right, she's 86 years old. If she was 16, I'd tell her something different, okay? She's 86. She's on her way to meet Jesus. Enjoy your chewing tobacco, okay? Uh, <laughs> I'm serious. You know, but if you're 16, stay away from that mess, all right? It's not good for you. And she tried giving it up, but it hurt her belly. And so I said, why well, hurt your belly, you know? Just keep on going. I forgot what I was going to tell you about Grandma Bill. <laughs> oh, okay, I remember now. She said to me, she said, Tom, you know, can't never could do nothing. And she's so wise in that. But with God, we hear other words, don't we? That all things are possible through God. I can do all things through Him who strengthens me. Right? Can't never could do nothing. How many times do we limit what God can do. You, you know, you're still like that rose. Oh, no, back it up. That was too soon. You see that rose bud? You, maybe you just got one of them little sides down and you're holding it up. But there's, there's a beautiful flower that God wants to be seen through you. Through you. And, uh, and we hold them up. You can't. But if you will, let him. He can. He can. Um, have you ever thought about this? God, God asks a lot out of us, doesn't He? Does He ask a lot of different things? Somebody just go like this or something. You know, He does. He does. But here's the neat thing about it. And sometimes you think, I can't do all the things that God has asked me to do. That is a devil's lie. That is a lie. God will empower you to do everything He has commanded you to do. But we sometimes get in the way. God calls us to be holy, even as He is holy. You think, oh man, what does that mean? Go to church once a week, you know, maybe don't chew tobacco or, you know, don't swear at people. I mean, being holy is taking that salvation that God has worked in us and worked it out in a variety of ways. And yeah, our, our speech should be different. Yeah, the way that we live this world in this world should be different. Not so that we can earn our salvation, but because He's brought that salvation to us. We're not working for salvation. We're working because of salvation. Oh, what a huge difference, folks. How much more freeing that is. All that command, God commands us to do, He empowers us to do. If we only tackle the things that we can handle, if we can only tackle the things that we're comfortable with, and we never move out of our comfort zone, we will never, never grow. When Jesus said to Peter, Peter, get out of that boat. Come walk on the water. Peter's like, I can't walk on water. You're right, Peter, you can't. But he did. I love that illustration. And I don't think he gave us that illustration so that we can all go showing off, walking around uh, you know, on, on water. But rather to show that nothing is impossible with our God. What is it that God's calling you to do that you just, you're not willing to move out of your comfort zone? He's calling you. You say, I can't. Maybe you can't, but He can. God has a purpose for this, this congregation, New Song. I'm certain He has a purpose for us all. He needs us to be healthy spiritually. 
We need to be unified. You know, that's a huge uh, factor in this little letter to the Philippians, is unity. There are those who are, gonna, who, are, who are trying to cause division in this little church at Philippi. And unity is a huge part of it. And to be unified, we've got to be healthy, spiritually speaking. And, and, and we've got to be working daily, growing spiritually, growing in our walk with Him. Our workout needs to be continual. It needs to be personal. It's ours. It needs to be humble. And it needs to be fueled by the supernatural power of God. Are you working out daily? Are you working out what God has worked in you? God wants to make you into something beautiful. There's that last slide. And God will make you beautiful. Our worship team, yep, they're right there, ready to go. We got a prayer zone out here. We would like to bring the supernatural power of God through prayer into your life. If we minister to you, but let's all stand, let's all sing this time.